I'm back with another cosplay transformation. Today I'm transforming into Chucky from Child's Play. I'm starting out by applying my primer because I'm going to have quite a bit of makeup on. And then I'm actually applying a new foundation that I have which is a slightly lighter color than my face because Chucky does have a slightly um, lighter tint. And then I went ahead and spread that out with my brush all the way. This is a slightly greasier foundation and I do have greasier oily skin most of the time so I do want to go ahead and apply some powder over this and I'm also going to go ahead and apply some setting powder as well. So after I apply the setting powder, I'm actually grabbing this red palette and I'm going to be doing the red eyes that he has. It's like a red slash dark um, purpley type color. He has one eye that is way bruised because of the scars. So I'm just starting to put the red as a base and I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye, but the other eye is lighter. So it's going to be like a lighter red, so it doesn't need to be as strong. I'm going to go ahead and just apply this on the lid and on the under eye of the lid as well. I did forget to put my contacts in first, so I am applying the blue contacts. These are a slightly darker blue, but Chucky does have light blue eyes. So afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and just continue to do that red eyeshadow. And like I said, on the other eye, I'm just applying it very lightly because he does have red um, all over that eye, but it's not as defined as the other one. Now I'm applying a little bit of black eyeshadow on top of my right eye to go ahead and give it more of a bruised look. And that's going to be on the eyelid as well as the bottom of my eye as well. Now I'm using the same red from the eyes to go ahead and... Actually, I forgot I gotta do my eyebrows first because the scars actually go over his eyebrows. So I'm actually using uh, Myron Orange Face Paint to go ahead and do orange eyebrows. Just go ahead and apply a little bit of water on your brush and then go ahead and use that um, little orange to go ahead and apply it over your brows. Because my brows are darker, I am having to apply it multiple times, but I want to make sure it matches close enough to the wig. Now back to the red eyeshadow that I was using before, I'm pretty much just mapping out where the scars are. He does have a red tint underneath his scars if you can tell, and they are this color red, so just go ahead and map them out with this thickness. I am applying them over the eyebrows as well as you can tell. That was after the face paint did dry, and now I'm actually grabbing a little bit of um, a little a little brush to do like the small detailing because he does have some roots on the top there and you're just going to continue with a smaller brush. I did start with thinner lines on this um, just to map it out and then over time I am going to start adding a little bit more once I actually apply the scars. And I'm just pretty much staring at the reference to make sure I get this properly. I originally started to line the just the lines of the scars with this liquid uh, liner but it didn't work out so I got an even li liquidy type eyeliner it's not a pen it's actually like a liquid liner it's a NYX one so I went ahead and just drew the straight line so you're going to be drawing a line right in the middle of that red line that you drew because he still does have that like bruising type redness around his scars and you're just using it to pretty much map the straight lines of these scars to give it that dark defined um, scar look to show that yes it is definitely not healed it's it's just forever going to be that way and be very careful if you're using a liquid liner like this so it doesn't get messy. After that dried, I went back in with the red eyeshadow from before and now I actually did start adding how I am going to want the look to look on each one. I did have a red line on the side as well so I'm adding my black um, line there too and I continue to do it all the way down to my neck because when I looked at more reference images, Chucky did have some more on his neck and on the other side of his face. I then added another straight line and continued up to the point where my shirt ended. This part got a little complicated because it was on a side that I couldn't see well. And now I'm adding that red eyeshadow to make sure I overlap all the way to the sides and we still have red eyeshadow once I apply the actual scar lines. 
Now I am just applying the scar lines as they go. They don't have to be perfect, but I am trying to do them in like a little not perfect type look. So they are straight, some are curved, not curved, some are angled. So kind of just go as you wish on here. Um, some are smaller, so just try to go with what you see in the image. And he does have some right on the actual lip. As you can see, I did add some lines and they actually continue all the way down his neck. So so I just continue to do lines all the way down my neck. And as you can see, some are not straight at all. And I continued this process on the right side of my face as well. And as you can see, the top portion of his face on the right top area he doesn't have any scar lines besides two or three um actually four two on the top two on the other side so i'm just going to go ahead and add those real quick and then i'm adding a little bit more eyeshadow before i decide to go too into it because there's one more line that i was missing i added the two little dashes that it was missing on that side and he also has like this face expression that the doll is very like angry looking so i added those like lines i kind of had to make my face into a weird like angry face <laughs> to get those lines so yeah and i just made sure to add a little bit more eyeshadow on my eye to give it a slightly darker look but not too too dark Oh, and there was one more line that I was missing um, that you can't really see. So on the left side of his face, he does have like a big black open uh, wound. It is larger than this, so I am making it a little bit thicker. And it was kind of hard to tell if there was any like staples on it, but I added some staples anyway. Afterwards, I just decided to go ahead and put on my overalls. And then I went ahead and put on some shoes. He normally has like these little Conver looking shoes. Well, uh, yeah. And then I went ahead and uh, tied those up, put my wig on, and then um, the buttons as well. So I just got some buttons from Amazon, uh, hot glued them on so I can rip them off later. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the wig and that should be the end of the look. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And this is the final look. If you want to see the final pictures, go ahead and check out my Instagram. The link is below. And don't forget, I stream on Twitch every Wednesday and Friday. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, everyone.